Good Sunday morning and welcome to Lone Star Politics. I'm Julie Fine sitting in for Christy Nelson. Sitting next to me, Grummer Jeffers from the Dallas Morning News. So glad you're here. How are you? I'm doing great. How That's are you? Good. I'm, I'm fine. Yeah. Well, we have a lot to get through today. This is a big week for the Republicans in the U.S. House of Representatives. On Thursday, elections will get underway for three key positions. The House Speaker, that of course, the position being vacated by John Boehner. The Majority Leader, that's the number two leader in the House. And then there's the Majority Whip, the party's so-called enforcer responsible for making sure members of the party vote for party policy. Now, fans of House of Cards know this is the position held by Kevin Spacey's character, Frank Underwood, and it's the role U.S. Congressman Pete Sessions, a Republican from Dallas, is running for. He joins us this morning. We're so happy to have you with us. Good morning. Us. We are really happy that you're here. First of all, this is the time when you're making the calls, trying to get the votes. Where do you think it stands? Uh, we've we've had almost a week to begin doing this process. We're working well through our list. I think they look very good for us. Uh, it's going to be down to the very end. I think it will be decided by a matter of three or four votes. Congressman Underwood, I mean, Sessions. <laughs> <laughs> what what sets you apart from the competition? You think what gives you the edge going into this race? Uh, I think that I, I'm the only that has a background of serving as a committee chairman, two terms at the National Republican Congressional Committee. We ran an organization that was unlike any other before, and that was we were member-driven. I did things with all of our membership to bring us together. What is alike with that circumstance, my background, is we did not have the will to win back then either, and now we were down again also. We're in trouble. And I'd hope that I would be the trouble guy that comes in and fixes us and puts us back together. The American people cannot win if Republicans and the majority party cannot get it together. Do you have a Tea Party problem? I, I don't think I have a Tea Party problem. So? No, I don't think so. Uh, look, I'm running against uh, my main opponent is on the inside and is viewed as being on the inside as he was the chief deputy whip. And they had problems getting votes. They had problems with procedure. They had problems with power. I bring a different perspective, and that is we should go back to regular order. Good golly, a sitting as chairman of the Rules Committee, week after week after week, we get bills that have never been heard, no, no hearing, no vote, no committee action. We cannot continue to do that and have the confidence of the American people. And we have seen in the past few weeks how divided the Republican Party is right now. If you did get this job, how do you think you could line people up for the votes that are necessary? Well, I, I think it starts with people believing in what you're doing. And it starts by listening to them and coming together with a concrete idea about what's important. We have never gotten together and followed the agenda that we said we would do. Something always got in the way and it cannot get in the way. Second, the process of including everybody from their committee position. In Congress, your career is your committee, and we should count on those people to make the tough decisions, not well up the food chain and let other people decide. Or we have to be member-driven. I'm committed to that. Assuming he'll be elected speaker, and it looks like he will, he's a favorite, how will Kevin McCarthy be different than, than Speaker Boehner. Well, he's going to have to be. First of all, he's going to have to be. In what way? Well, he's going to have to be because the times are different now. What pushed John out, Kevin should see that he cannot do the same things that uh, John Boehner did. Our entire team has to think differently about what are we attempting to accomplish. John had been there from the beginning and for six years moving forward, a total of 10 years he was our leader. Things did not work when you don't involve everybody on the team, and that's what we've got to do. And the rest of this team is stuck, has been stuck to making decisions themselves as a leadership team rather than counting on our members to get that done. Now, switching gears here, you and I have talked in the past, and you said you are supporting Governor Jeb Bush. Clearly, he is not where he expected to be in the polls. What do you think happens from here? Well, I think what happens from here is we're going to continue to have our candidates pop up and pop down and do the things that are necessary to prepare themselves for what will be the, primary, the primaries. And New Hampshire and South Carolina and Texas are all ahead. I don't know enough about Iowa. Everybody's been there. But I do know that it will quickly come upon us by probably the first week of March. We'll have a good idea who that answer will be. Now, you're, you're running for a majority whip, but you also 
potentially have a race back home for re-election. Uh, Paul Brown, the Rocky veteran, is, is already challenged you or challenging you. There may be others. Russell Ramsland is, is looking at it. What do you think about your re-election bid? Uh, are you worried? Are you concerned at all? Am I out working and working hard as I always have? Yes, I have. I've never taken it for granted. And as a member of Congress, you're up every few years. You have to constantly make sure you're staying in touch with people and being clear about your positions on issues. I think we've done that. We've taken in a new district this time that previously we had not represented before the last election. I think we've got a great mark that we've set for ourselves in Wiley and Saxe and Garland and Rowlett. And I think people other places in the district know me and I think I will end up winning. Quickly, what do you do for the next few days before that vote? Well, I'm spending time making calls to people, making myself available to talk with people. They're no different than you. They want, are looking for answers. What would I do? What kind of leader would I be? And I can easily describe that because of my past, my background, and my diligence of being straightforward of saying we've got to work together, and they recognize that. Well, thanks so much for being with us because we know you are very busy. Coming up, we'll continue our discussion on changes within the Republican Party with U.S. Congressman Michael Burgess. And when the Democrats debate who will be on that stage, the Dallas County Democratic Party chair is here this morning.